the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Saint Fathers in the mountains, in the monasteries. On this day died Yared, the poet and hymn writer, who was like unto the seraphim. This man was a kinsman of Abba Gideon, a priest of Aksum, which city held the first church that was built in the country of Ethiopia. And in this church was first preached the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, and it was consecrated in the name of our Holy Lady, the Virgin Mary, the God-bearer. When Abba Gideon began to teach the blessed Yadah the Psalms of David, he was unable to keep Yadah with him for many days at a time and would beat him. Yadah soon fled into the desert and took his abode under a tree. There he saw a caterpillar which was climbing up the tree. And when it had climbed up halfway, it fell down upon the ground. And it did this many times because of the difficulty of climbing the tree. When St. Yadda saw the perseverance of the caterpillar, he repented in his soul and returned to his teacher and said unto him, Forgive me, O Father, and do unto me as you wish. And his teacher, a spiritual man, received him. And having asked God with tears, the Lord opened the thoughts of St. Yadda's understanding. And he learned in one day the books of the Old Testament and the New Testaments. And then he was made a deacon. Now in those days there was no singing of hymns and spiritual songs to well-defined tunes, but men murmured them in a low voice. And God, wishing to raise up a memorial for himself, sent unto Yadid three birds from the garden of Edom. And they spoke with Yadid in the speech of man, and took him to the heavenly Jerusalem. And there he learned the songs of the twenty-four priests of heaven. And when he returned to earth, he went into the first church in Aksum at the third hour of the day. And he cried out with a loud voice saying, Hallelujah to the Father, Hallelujah to the Son, Hallelujah to the Holy Spirit. When the first Hallelujah, he established the foundation called the Zion. And the second Hallelujah, he showed forth how Moses carried out the work of the tabernacle. And this is the song called Song of the Heights. When the king, queen, bishops, and priests, and king nobles heard the sound of his voice, they ran to the church and spent the day listening to him. The added then arranged hymns for each lesson of the year for summer and winter, and spring and autumn, and for festivals and Sabbaths, and for the days of the angels, the prophets, the martyrs, and the righteous in three modes. The first mode to be used on ordinary days, the second mode to be used on fast days and days of mourning, and the third mode to be used on the great festivals. The three modes were also not lacking any of the sounds that are made by men and birds and beasts. One day while St. Yadda was singing by the footstep of King Gabramaska, the king was so deeply absorbed with his voice that he drove his spear into the flat part of Yadda's foot with such force that much blood spurted out. But St. Yadda did not know of it until he had finished the song. And when the king saw this, he was, di- he was dismayed, and he threw his spear out of his foot and said unto him, Ask me for whatever reward you wish, for in return for this your blood which has been shed. And St. Yadda said unto him, Swear to me that you will not refuse me. And when the king had sworn, St. Yadda said unto him, Send me away, that I may become a monk. When he heard this, he was very sad, and his nobles likewise. But he was afraid to repent to him from leaving because of his oath. And when St. Yadid had gone into the church, he stood before the tabernacle of Zion, and was raised a cubit above the ground once he started praying, Holy are you, and honorable, and glorious, and blessed, and praised, and exalted. Then he departed to the desert in the south, and lived there in fasting and prayer. And he humbled his flesh for the rest of the days and finished his strife there. And God gave him the promise concerning the man who should honor his name or celebrate his commemoration. And he died in peace, and the place of his grave in the south is not known to this day. Salutation to St. Yadid. Glory be to God who glorified in his saints. Amen. <laughs>